first thing you need to do is grab your slip knot. So you put that through the end of your line and then make sure you take that plastic tube and push it back out the way it came. And once you get that pushed out, your knot slide right on there and then you can adjust that later. Next thing you want is a bead. Little tiny bead and the number one reason for that is that keeps that knot from bashing into the tip of the bobber. So you don't get it stuck in there and it doesn't get frayed. Next step, your bobber. Northland Light Bite Slip Bobbers. These are the best. Number one reason why, they have a brass grommet at the top and that allows for your line not to eat into the top of your plastic of the bobber here or sometimes these are wood. It starts to wear and tear inside that. You're gonna get stuck. So when you cast out, your line's not gonna slip or slide as easy. Pull your tag end out. Next thing I like to do is put my hook on next. And this is a live bait. This is a size two Northland glow hook. And this is a chartreuse color. I think Sarah's got pink on her, of course. Tie that on there real quick. Okay, so you got your hook on. The last thing is your split shot. This is very important because you don't want it too heavy to pull that bobber down. And you don't want it too light where your bobber is not gonna maybe stand up all the way. I like to put that anywhere between probably 10 to 12 inches above it. And you want to pinch that down. You get her all pinched up. Once you have your tag lines cut, you're gonna set that at your desired depths. We're gonna be fishing probably around anywhere from 14 to 16 foot today. And then we're gonna set this to our proper depth here in a second, but that's all the rig is. You got your knot, you got your bead, you got your slip bobber, you got your split shot, and you got your hook. Simple as that.